Welcome everyone. In the final video of the series, we will check out the admin panel. To access the admin panel, we click on the small icon in the top right corner, then select admin panel. Only team admins are able to see it. Okay, the first tab is team, where you can adjust team specific settings. You can leave an announcement, which will be visible to users in the team as a banner. Here you can also set whether the users in the team are allowed to create tags or force the use of templates. You can also link your own documentation. Then, enforce permissions for reading and writing, or edit the default template for your team. Well, let's take a look at what's behind groups. Here you can create groups and add any person from the entire eLab FTW instance and installation. Next, users. Here you can search for user or add local accounts to your own team if it is allowed by your system admins. Now we continue with categories. As an admin, you can manage the categories for experiments and resources here. You can add a category by clicking on Create. It needs a name and a color, and the category is created. You can also set a default category for experiments here, but this is not necessary and probably not always useful. Resource categories, on the other hand, work differently. Here too, you click on Create and then have to enter a name. But in the next step, you see a kind of template. You can create an individual template for each resource category. As I already mentioned in the video on resources, as an admin, you can make some customizations here. Let's go back and check out the chemistry category. Here already, some specific things were added. For example, hazard symbols or statements, storage conditions, and so on. Well, let's move on to the next tab, Status. Here you can manage the statuses for experiments and resources. To create a status, simply click on Create. Write a name and select a color and it is created. To create a new status for resources, proceed in exactly the same way. This time, there is no exception for resources. Next, Export. As an admin, you can choose a resource and export them in various file formats. Here, resources are called database items. However, you can also select a user and export all of their experiments in a desired file format, or even export the bookings in your team in a desired time period. Finally, we come to the Tag Manager. Here, you can add tags, view, and manage the existing tags in the team. You can sort the tags by name or occurrence, display experiments or resource items, or even delete tags. You can also correct typing errors by simply clicking on the tag, changing it, and saving it. Great! This was the last video of this series, where I showed you the basics of eLab FTW in nine videos. In an update video series, I will talk about upcoming releases, so you know what will have changed compared to an older version. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or leave a comment. Goodbye.